Hey friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM Tutorial. In my last video, we had created this page. So now continuing it. In this video, we will modularize the content page component, which is our page rendering component. So modularization of components enables reuse of common structures and it also reduces code redundancy. So now let's go to our CRX console. So open your CXD console. Now go to our project. Click on apps. This is our training project. And uh, within the component we have structure. And this is our page rendering component. That is content page. Now right click on our content page component. Click on create. Create a new file. And name it header.html. Okay. And again right click. Click on create now create footer.html. Click on OK. Save it. And now create body.html. Click on OK. Save it. Now use my this link. This is my GitHub repository. Go to developer course. Now go to chapter 7 introduction to Sightly. Click on modularize content page component. Now click on header.html. Copy this content and open your header.html. Now save it. Paste it and save it. Here you can see I have one div and in this div I have site navigation. And here in the SLI, in the slide tag, we have toolbar. And this is our bootstrap classes. We will see this later. Now go to footer.html. Again, copy the content of footer. Come here and paste it. In the footer, we can see here we have Within the div, we have v.train, we have footer toolbar in the h2 tag, and we have back to top. This is the link back to top. Now copy the content of body.html. Copy the content and go to your content and go to your body.html, paste it and save it. Here what we are doing, we have included this header.html. Examine it carefully. We are including header.html. We are using data slide include here. And this is our um, bootstrap code. And here we have placeholder of hero component. We have breadcrumb component, title component. We are going to replace these components later in our future videos. And in the last, we have included footer.html using data slide include attribute. Now go to the content page.html. Again, copy the content and paste here and paste here in content dot in content page.html. Control save. So what we are doing in our content page.html, we have the title and we have including and we are including body.html. And within body.html, we are including header in the top and footer in the bottom. And here we have some components. I'm just using placeholders for as for now. We will replace these placeholders with the real components in my upcoming videos. So we have the content page where we have body and within the body we have header footer included and in the header we have site navigation, site navigation text and in the footer we have uh, we have vtrain text we have footer toolbar and we have back to the top link okay now save it now if you open your english page click on edit This is how your page will look like now. So this was the text in the header. 
and uh, within the body we have hero component breadcrumb title and responsive content area and this is a button and in the this is the footer part so noted notice that there are placeholders for components and other elements that we will be implementing throughout the course so there is no design applied yet so the class definition that we reference in the code uh, that are related to bootstrap and they are not active yet so we will define and apply the design later in our this tutorial thank you friends if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching